And let me share my slides. Okay, so uh, Diane, screening, can see someone. Okay. No one. Uh, okay, so uh, like. Uh, here, like the today's session is just the introduction, uh, just theoretical introduction into like the uh, credits, uh, risk, and no analysis. Smart and this one, and I come on modeling and no, not a more intimate of a cockpit. Uh, what kind is it? So, not a more limited and the current loan. So, uh, it's more of a theoretical and so more of a discussion, you know, you don't know. Okay, let me start. So, yeah, uh, just raise your hands or speak up myself. I'm gonna or from the court. Okay. So first, the list starts with uh, credit risk. So what's credit risk? So credit risk like markets, like a uh, like like bank which more uh, mainly metaders or the fintech industry metaders, like the the financial industry. The better, better, better. So their main uh, line is just uh, uh, like lending money and so on. So credit risk means. Uh, like the possibility of the lender or the borrower uh, not returning their, their money on time. So uh, this is just the possibility of a borrower defaulting on their financial obligation, which means that uh, the So if the borrower is high, they will not pay. If the borrower is low, they will be not. So uh, like the person does one look and more of there are like. Uh, not quantitative, uh, uh, qualitative, more of uh, quantitative method. Major interpretation at the bigger level. So, uh, like mainly, uh, credit risk is just a possibility of a borrower not uh, returning their uh, the what the, the, the money they borrow, but they borrow, they borrowed. So, this is like uh, critical for banks and uh, financial institutions to manage and mitigate their potential loss. So. Uh, they don't want to lose their money, so they want to be sure that you can uh, like retain the money on time and in full, uh, so that they can like easily borrow the money. Uh, so the objective of uh, credit risk analysis is just to validate the credit worthiness of uh, borrowers and minimize the risk of defaults. So in uh, generally, we're gonna uh, like reduce the number of uh, credit risk. So credit risk, uh, like basically so style, like the uh, default risk, uh, and so like for our goal, less to no more. Sorry, uh, so yeah, less uh, like probability, we, we call it default risk, so the defaulting symbolic, not retargeting them. Uh, concentration risk, so a large exposure, uh, uh, only to a single counterpart part two or more a group of counters so like size we have as I said concentration risk and one country risk more like the other so like uh it if you are like an institution like uh, I may for something level better than it because they don't see the default risk they see the country risk so country is classic one like GDP like a peace stability so on so any type of production like we just uh, like Worried about or focused on the default risk, which is just this borrower. So we said these things. So, uh, what is the importance of credit risk analysis? So, uh, it's uh, self speaking, uh, like minimize potential loss because I'm trying to my business in the corner, the bank could not continue their operations, uh, help lenders make informed lending. Decision: Who should we like lend uh, more money to, and who should we like lend less money to? Follow. Enable better portfolio map management and risk mitigation. So, the risk action that we can use to better portfolio management in our role. We are going to think around on and then to also share each other. Like, like I forgot the name of the system. Then, like, a copy me that one. Read prints. Scoring on the uh, So, support regulation, regulatory uh, compliances, uh, contribute financial stability. And, yeah, critical for lending 
institutions to assess for risk based so like Zoo and the Trinabo Tower Strata Jamro, like Makatu of Mukat here, like Wade of Omar. Yes, like they don't assess their borrower's risk. So, use case action for an annex, a loan approval, so approved like the Jitak. It's more of a debit card. It's like card credit card. like if you have a credit card, we will like which is the same as card by home, like Tilebra Line. That you have fit fitters in the past. And by now, uh, pay later the moon, like I'm gonna get a statue. Like, what if it's a CRC catalog? Like, if you go to Amazon, Amazon or Lilosh, like upline the whole, like a uh, online one with a real do to the natural design system that come out by now, pay later, later. So they just want to see your credit scores. Everything that's depending on the credit score. So if you have a better credit score, that creates a car catch like or like a bank card, like credits, uh, they will understand that you will most probably pay back. So, but not how So, these are the things. So, yeah, credit card bound, pay labor letter to add to matter on the support of the visa. Next time, we have a draft to work with them. Because I can see that. So, that's basically credit card, you know, sorry, uh, credit risk card to so uh, we have some key concepts that you need to understand when dealing with credit risks. So the first thing is the first thing is a uh, probability of default. So uh, we uh, the borrower uh, we default the loan or not default the aggregate loan probability of default numbers are less. Uh, loss given default, so the amount of loss, uh, like the lender uh, incurring the borrower defaults, the amount of the percentage on this component. I'm sorry, as a shift number 10, I'm shift chain in the second corner, we have 50% uh, loss, the amount of loss given default. Uh, and uh, uh, like exposure at defaults is just the total value of exposed to default at the time of the defaults. We are exposed to default on our case, I'm still not. So expected load loss action in Yono, like the probability of defaults, as are the loss given defaults, times uh, uh, at default, so which is equal to, uh, so ELL, which is expected load loss, so we are trying to track, so it's your uh, reported uh, expected loss. Sorry, let me just correct this one. Yeah, so it's just a perfect uh, at default. So being on Boston, this is a percentage. This is more than this. This is more than this. Again, it's not required for this task, but uh, just not to have. Yeah. So, uh, like key concepts, credit uh, card analysis. Just the key. Management quality, these are just quantitative just something we just think about. But when we come to quantitative analysis, so credit scoring, which we are going to do uh, for this week, uh, probability of defaults, loss given default and exposure default. So you can do the credit score. So credit score mathematics uh, just given to the person based on their default analysis, like credit risk analysis, and then the actual score, credit scoring part. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's
Uh, no, it's everything clear, guys. <laughs> She like like the uh, IKL option, maybe click on Calorans, come by Lord. Thank you, very much. Perfect. Uh, okay, so let me continue with the session. So, uh, like credit risk analysis, uh, if you are done with the credit risk analysis, you better come to the uh, like credit risk modeling, so just modeling one of the statistical and mathematical credit risk uh, quantifying. So with that per percent uh, payback or not in your own, the good that lamas can be the credit for modeling. So basically, we have two types. Um, so uh, traditional inequality, you know, you just recognition uh, of more modern domain parts. Random forest like the zoo, branch of chariots, and uh, neural networks. Mm -hmm. So it's just to show how um, worthy or uh, like creators are is that in particular. So they're higher the creators. Uh, so in your system or in your other system, they don't show you your creator, like uh, sorry, your uh, score. And you like that uh, in the other world, it's uh, they show you your score. So if your score is higher uh, and lower, you know, I don't want So benefit of human the natural improved risk assessment and decision making. So based on the credit score, you can just uh, like the number of cash in as portfolio optimizations or as I wish, like the credit score actually in the country, but better and uh, capital action and more. So they will most probably uh, not default and not refile them in that way. Okay, so then again, uh, like uh, there are some challenges in uh, credit risk modeling. So the first one is uh, we need a lot, lot of data uh, and a lot of quality data, especially so quality data. Because we need to train a better model. And accuracy and limitation is always there. Uh, and like regression and market market change, because it depends on the market condition in the market uh, that there is. Uh, so, 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 right? And data and feature uh, of mobility. So, like based on features, like uh, I, would, I would advise you that. Like, Again, basically, yeah, in the Zana, there's no major challenge, but especially the first one, easily built in the American American Journal. Data quality and average, so it's not available. And it's not quality and data. So that's the main reason. Uh, and types of data used, uh, financial data, the like credit history, data flow, uh, and transactional, like purchase history, transactional amounts, and like age, like, like demographic data, age, economic status, and so on. But the three, like these are the key metrics that we are looking for to, to get, like uh, after we do the modeling, if the credit risk analysis, we're going to see, we're going to need to have the credit score. Which is going to tell us the credit worthiness of that person. That uh, is that person like worth maybe ending the money or not. Default probability is just the probability that the person will not hit it. So these two are just uh, like incremental, complementary of that two and increase the uh, risk category. So natural shall I? You're going to see the threshold. We are like below this is low risk, but this is high risk. Category as much or uh, no, no default in front that you mentioned, like there is some, some person, diminishing the only percent of default. So, uh, high in the number of no default enough and default includes uh, high in the only square. So, any questions? So, so, so yeah, yeah, I'm not sure, I think. Or if I don't the this uh, to part. Uh, so I think it's fine. 
or is she is it clear? At least. Okay, two people, three, four, five, okay. Five. -ish. That's good. So just just uh, less, uh, like uh, just as a bonus, I wanted to add uh, like some some uh, points that you need to look at uh, when thinking about credit script, what affects credit uh, risk. So th th this is just a bonus point. Uh, so bank size have a positive and significant effect of, on credit risk. So uh, the larger the bank, credit risk will be because it has more like uh, more more capital set, more trade risk, but I'm kind of long growth can like zoom cover to the efficiency ratio negatively or 15 or negatively return on investment, negatively like the higher the profitability and the sorry, the return on investment, the lower the credit risk and capital. Uh, but I see more it's not true because of the human meter GDP. When we are going to say that, the credit risk will be like that. Inflation, the more we say, credit risk like inflation, when we say credit risk will be like that. Interest rates, when we say more we say credit risk will be like that. We have to interest rate, but I'm going to say more. Even for two years, we say more. Before the market will actually general foreign exchange, foreign exchange rate will be like that. Especially like for the country like when they need to pay a lager line. Like I think we already know uh, these three first and interest rate general and foreign exchange. So Lazano uh, like uh, like uh, PRI bank is like Zoom at what you know then then as you can plus a little of course. Again, like positive uh, bank size bank because it creates a general long security risk down to exceed it's significant effect on and so on. So you, you can just take a look at these things when uh, like trying to be uh, at great risk. And finally, uh, so like key objective, like if you like uh, compose like this week's uh, project, uh, like it will boil down to these three points. So, uh, so like you know, like, I'm like light a bit short, but I didn't find high risk, and low risk customers. So. Uh, high risk and low risk like them that are for not just the lack of good of defaults. So uh, default amount to mark and not really the optimal loan amount in the whole lot of them. Like when you think about uh, when you think about credit risk and uh, other things, what you need to think about is uh, these things. So uh, Majority of the touch me not find high risk low risk customers had to find the likelihood of default. So obviously high risk of no default touch on general, low risk of the more default touch on some and it's the yield to estimates like how much likely they hit a more credit score in the baron and then finally low not for this project of course. You need to identify the optimal loan amount. So this is what like any like a deliver like yeah, no, I think so that's it from my side any any questions anything that you want to add or ask Okay, is it clear, Shilas? Okay, good. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I know it's a short uh, session, but it's uh, more in like interaction. Understand? So, if you have any questions, you can ask on Slack. Um, thank you for joining. Uh, see you around. Bye.